So this is a Leopard uh, 53 Power Cat. So we had to go on board. We'll notice we have nice, really wide sugar scoops. Like all larger leopards, it uses a hydraulic lift platform with chocks for your dinghy. The seating area in the cockpit is comprised of two separate sofas, one which kind of doubles as a day bed, and another which is intended more for dining. We'll start at the flybridge since this is kind of the heart of the boat. It's what most people like. Here you've got a wheel, Raymarine Electronics as is standard on all leopards, a pair of nice big chart plotters, autopilot, some front facing seating, as well as another U shaped uh, sofa. There's a lot of seating on this boat. Day bed and a wet bar with fridge, freezer, and in here it should be, yes, a grill. Do a quick visibility test from the helm station. To make your way forward, you notice that this has solid stainless steel uh, lifelines along with some 1x19 on the bottom. You've also got the same kind of grab rails up on the side. I think uh, solid steel, solid stainless is becoming pretty standard for power cats of this size. All of the hatching is flush. And you do have a, uh, you have a front door, but the not a real sort of uh, front cockpit. Instead, you've got a pair of day beds. Some bow seating. Oop, excuse me. And very nice, you know, uh, angular lines. Uh, says it's very vertical windows. Has very mean look. Uh, normally, I would open the mechanical space, but well, as I said, this is a boat show, so uh, we're gonna forego that today. Starting to the guest cabins. Got the aft guest cabin, semi walk around berth. Lots of windows. Again, I'd probably open the uh, hatches to get some more light in here, but again, boat show, so apologies. You have a shower. This is not an enclosed shower, so more of a wet head, as well as vanity, the sink. And you know, I think uh, some, some heads can be kind of cramped, but I think the space in this one is pretty good. Forward guest cabin has an athwart ship's berth. As well as you got your storage down here. Another head. With a detachable wand shower. We've also got the electricals down here. <laughs> and a washer and dryer. Yeah, I know. 
In the seating area, you've got a very kind of open space. Hi there. Hi. Don't mind me. Uh, another split settee. As well as you can navigate the entire boat from the inside of the cockpit. Big TV. I think this is an option as well. Oh, and off to the side you have a U-shaped galley. Propane. Conveniently mounted microwave. Freezer. And probably the most interesting thing that stands out in this galley is this big fridge. I mean, this is probably bigger than what I have in my own house, but yeah. Another interesting thing to note is that all of the ice which comes out of this ice maker is filtered, so everything here is completely potable. Uh, not all boats do that, and uh, it's a bit of a leap forward. Oh, make our way into the master. That's just Russ, who's kind enough to let me on his boat to film. We've got a nice big, another walk around berth here. The TV for the master. And there are, uh, you know, you can customize the master to a degree. It doesn't come with options right out of the factory, but uh, if you want to switch this desk out for, you know, more storage or something else, then, you know, they can, uh, they can work with you on that for aftermarket modifications. I also have a sofa here. Personally, I'd rather have more storage, but as I said, you can option this as you please. A really big vanity mirror. This should... Actually, I'm not quite sure how that opens up, so I'm not going to touch it, but... Inside the master's head, we've got a really, really large shower. I mean, I can practically stretch both of my arms out here. Another detachable shower head. And sinks and vanities, and kind of uh, separate from the main head. Another look at the helm station, just real quick. Throttles, chart plotters, here you have all the, you can, the control panel for all the boat systems as well as autopilot and radio. We'll do another visibility test. You really do got to like the uh, front door on the newer Leopards. They definitely help improve ventilation in the cockpit if you don't want to be running the AC constantly in the middle of the day. Helps generate positive airflow from the front through the, co through the salon to the back. So that is a new Leopard 53 Powercat uh, owner edition. Uh, thank you for watching and be sure to like, subscribe, and I hope to see you next time.